Greetings and welcome. My name is Sugi Khan and thanks for joining me today on my latest guide and this is for mid lane Fizz as an AP. Since the AD Fizz has, you know, he has become like much much weaker because they took the amplifi amplification damage on the ultimate to only stack with magical damage. So they removed the physical portion out of it. So you will be seeing a lot more mid Fizz than top Fizz in the upcoming weeks. So let's talk about abilities before we jump into anything else. So the passive is called Nimble Fighter. It has two sides to it. It ignores unit collision. This is really good when you're escaping or you're trying to chase somebody through a minion wave. The other part of it is you take reduced damage from basic attacks. This applies to minions and it also applies to champions. This is why Fizz usually wo wins all trade-ins, all trade-ins in level like pre-6 or something. You go all in level 1, you're very likely come out like, you know, alive because of this passive and it gives you an incredible sustain on these like AD trade-offs, especially against like Yasu or Zed, for instance, in the mid lane. The first ability is called Q, well not Q, your chin strike and this pretty much does uh, dash towards um, unit or champion deals physical damage and bonus magic damage on it and it applies on hit effects like Lian True, Realize, um, even Lich Bane and that's why it's a really really strong ability. This is the ability I max out the second because it's really good for escaping, it's really good for last hitting and it's really good for like chasing opponents down. The W is called Sea Stone Trident, this is pretty much has a passive side to it which Increase damage over time over three seconds and once you use the active it deals bonus magic damage and also you know uses targets missing health so it deals quite a lot of damage against tanks this makes chunking people really you know easy and fast the good thing about the W is that makes last hitting really easy so in some certain situ situations I learned the sea stone strident as a first ability so I won't, won't be missing those early CS. However, this is usually on matchups where I against, play against like Zed or Yasuo or any melee type of a champion. Because otherwise you will be having, you are playing with Playful, which is the E. And this was mean, this is ability that lets you farm the best because you're able to dodge skill shots and poke. And so E is a really good ability because it lets you escape, it has two sides, you can activate it or you don't need to activate it. If you don't activate it, it does a slow, that's pretty much the only difference with it. And what it makes it so really strong ability, it lets you farm. So that's why I max it out first, it deals that AOE damage and that's really good for wave clearing. Once you get like Lich Bane or two core items, you will be able to clear out waves really easily with your E. And that's why, which I will be talking about later, why the build is so specified, playing that, maxing that E. So, the last ability is, of course, Chum the Waters. This is your ultimate. It has a relatively low cooldown, and this is ability... One, once Riot actually did the change that it amplifies damage, it made Fizz more skill-based champion, because now you really need to start with the ultimate once you go in, and you really need to hit it to get that 20% more damage you know increase so it is very important to land that ability and you have to train that well there's no sandbox mode but you have to practice learning to land that ultimate it's a really easy skill shot by the way it has a really high range and has a really high missile speed and it slows the target and that's why you really need to hit it because it amplifies your damage and let's talk about the items so I use this like semi Westor build where Westor used to build like Lucidity Boots for every champion. That's 15% CDR versus like Sorcerer's Boots gives, gives you 20% well 20 magic penetration. But in the end of the day, Fizz will get more damage dished out with that 15% CDR than, than 20 magic penetration because he will be using the abilities multiple times in the battle. The playful cooldown goes down to like something like 6.4 with like CDR boots. With blue buff, it's gonna be a lot less, and that enables you to like use the trickster and combos all the time, and you'll be able to like dodge out so many skill shots and damage with that E, which makes it like super super strong. You can juggle around all the map. So as for startup items, there's like three different routes: Doran's Ring, 
two potions, boots and three potions or you start with flask and potions. Flask and potions are the best for sustaining lane. Sometimes when you're against like an AD mid laner, um, I usually go with this Doran's Ring and two potions. Once you just a heavy poke will be really hard for you to farm. You just need to go to that mid game. Once you go to that mid game, once you get Lich Bane on your boots and one like small AP item, you your combo is gonna be dealing so much damage. That's why Fizz is really broken right now because he doesn't need so many items to be really good. So after I build Lich Bane, which always should be your core item first, there's no other option. You always go Lich Bane first. This is your first item. It gives you movement speed, it gives you this like super good bat save which is really synergized with the abilities, that's why it's so OP. Then usually I go Ludens Echo, why Ludens Echo is really good, it gives you more mobility and it also gives you more burst to your combo. Also when you move with your E or Q, these will like count as movement and this will increase your stacks or how, how fast the stacks come back. To that 100% in Luden Seco. Also, the abilities have kind of relatively low cooldowns. This also helps getting Luden Seco really up really fast. And it's a really good for Wave Clear too. You know, because Fizz is a lot of based on like the W, it's based on the full combo. For that reason, you don't really need to build Rabadons as like a first item that usually do. So the item order is Lich Bane, then you go Luden Seco, then you finish your Ludicity Boots. Then, based on situation, you do what you need to do. Usually, when there's a lot of like abilities that can kill you, you want to go Zonaya next. Because Zonaya gives you the protection, and Zonaya lets you wait your cooldowns to be off, and then you can just Zonaya, and then you can just Playful Trickster out from battle. And that's a very important, important part of the synergy on the combos. Then, we could go Rapidons, Void Staff, GA is really good also, keeps Fizz alive. Usually you have like, a, I, at least I have a really high kill leads, so I don't want to lose that gold, so I built that. Realize is an okay item, and Leandre is also a good item, but they don't really fit into this build that much. Just if you want damage, go Void Staff and Rapidons. Zonaya is almost essential to Fizz, and I also think GA is good. I think you can build two defensive items with Fizz. Just because he has so much damage coming from not the flat AP, but just the W and the whole com full combo itself. And that's for the items. As for like runes, it's pretty simple stuff. Not very thing complex. Magic penetration reds, armor flat seals. But as for blue runes, you can choose like flat magic resistance if you feel like I want to survive the laning phase. You can choose flat AP too. This gives you higher kill potential on the lane. I never suggest these runes, but this is really for like early game skirmishes and you wanna like all in at level three or something. Then you got, uh, of course, my IP per level runes that can be run in this. I don't suggest using CDR on the blues. As for Quints, you can run AP per level or AP flats or magic penetration flats, but um, no, magic pen. Yeah, I don't think that's actually really good. Scratch that. And as let's talk about a bit about the laning matchup. So, and the masteries. So masteries are pretty much than than usual. You just take the full up and offense AP tree, and then you take few utility masteries like the uh, the ward thing, and so it's like twenty six one four. <clears throat> no, sorry, 20, 25, 4, 1, something like that. I will put the actual master page on the description. So then you have, of course, the lane matchups. What, what is Fizz good against? Well, Fizz is really good against Yasuo. He's really good against Zed, all melees, and Diana too. Every champion that has like a very like high cooldowns on abilities, you can just like bait their abilities out with your E, and then you just can go all in. That's why Fizz is really strong. But Fizz has a lot of trouble against champions like perhaps Victor, who can poke a lot, and like perhaps Ari is kind of annoying matchup too, because once you all in, you might get charmed and you fucked after that point. And there are, of course, champions that are really good against like dodging your abilities. So those are the champions you want to be afraid of. 
But in a theory, Fizz can, Fizz can be first pick and played into all matchups if you're really good against mechanically and you know how to farm. You know the victory conditions and you can play to the mid game. Even it's normal to go like 0-4 in the lane in the early game and you can easily come back to the game just because Fizz is such an OP champion and is a champion that really thrives with only like few items. That's why it's a really good champion because it kind of forgives you having a bad early game. You go a bit behind, that's okay because once you get those few core items you're gonna be bursting people down really really fast. Thanks for watching this video, hopefully stay out, stay tuned for new guides. So make sure you subscribe to me and hit the like button and make comments below if you have any questions regarding the build. Thanks for watching and see you guys later on the next video.